I actually go give talks at universities and conferences. Um, I present the mathematical model and that raises the level of the conversation. If I didn't have that, I'm sure I would be dismissed without, without you know, further ado. Um, but with the mathematics, then they have to take it quite seriously. So, so my burden then is different from the burden of the neuroscientists who t say that brain causes consciousness. They have to show how the brain and, or activities of the brain or properties of neurons or s loops of activity cause consciousness without a hand wave and they can't do that. My burden is to start with consciousness and without any hand waves get first all of physics. So I need to get um, you know classical relativity theory, I need to get quantum theory and I need to get relativistic quantum theory as a starting point and then hopefully uh, an understanding of what, how neurobiology arises out of it. So for me what I have to do is first say what I mean by consciousness. So I have to have a mathematical model and I've, I've pr presented one at this conference that I call Conscious Agent. And it's a very simple, and for a mathematician my structure is actually quite simple. It's just three probability spaces, three um, maps between those spaces, technically Markovian kernels, and then just one counter that, count, that counts the number of experiences that you've had. It's a very, very simple mathematical structure. So I propose that that captures that plus then all the combinatorics right, that you can get by interacting different conscious agents together um, gives me a complete model for consciousness. So it's an empirical claim and the, the claim is what I call the, the conscious agent thesis. That every aspect of consciousness can be represented as some system of interacting conscious agents. That's the claim. Very, very precise claim. And I present it in the same manner as Church Turing thesis in the field of computation, where Turing came up with a, a model that's an abstract model of computation that's about as simple as my model. It's, it's different, but it's a very, he had, I think it's a six or seven tuple Turing machine that he defined. I have a seven tuple conscious agent that I've defined. And then Turing said that this simple seven tuple that he defined, the Turing machine, um, is capable of representing any effective procedure, period. Anything that any computer could do could be done by his Turing machine. That's the church Turing thesis. If he's right, then the, church, then, then the Turing machine provides this simple formalism which is universal for all computation. And theorems then can be built on that because it's so simple. So we get the halting problem and busy beaver problem, all these things that are actually solved because of Turing's thesis. So we get computer science as a science and not just hacking because of this, this thesis. So I present my thesis, the conscious agent thesis, in the same spirit. Here's a fundamental definition of conscious agent. The claim is that every aspect of consciousness, every aspect, can be represented by a single conscious agent or conscious agents in uh, connection, in interaction. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's an empirical thesis in the same sense as Turing's. It can be falsified. If someone can find some feature of consciousness that they show cannot be modeled by this, by this formalism, I'm wrong. And I have to either abandon the project or change my formalism. I'll probably try to change the formalism first. But So then the other thing I have is what I call the thesis of conscious realism, which says that the world consists only of conscious agents. So I have one definition of conscious agent and one thesis, namely that um, the world consists only of conscious agents. And from that, so one definition and one postulate, I'm hoping by theorem and proof to get all of quantum physics and, and a complete model of consciousness. So to solve the mind-body problem in that way um, without any hand wave as pure mathematical um, consequences of the basic definition and postulate. So theorem proof, theorem proof, all the way through. And what I presented in, in the talk this morning was I am able to show that the asymptotic behavior of conscious agents in interaction gives us precisely the same equations. The, the equations that describe that are mathematically precisely the same equations at one level that describe the wave equation of the quantum free particle. I'm able to put them in, in precise correspondence so I can read off how physical variables like position, um, time, energy, momentum um, are related to precise variables of the asymptotic behavior of conscious agents. So the claim is that particles in physics are our representation of asymptotic dynamics of consciousness. So it's a 
the long-term, asymptotics means long-term. The long-term dynamics of consciousness is what we represent by these simple things, particles. That's the correspondence. So that's a precise mathematical claim. And that's the nice thing about having a mathematical formalism. These claims are extremely precise, and so they're extremely falsifiable.